Have you suffered from foot pain and struggled to find comfortable yet stylish footwear? Well, if that's you, then I've got five types of footwear that will help you to be really comfortable and stylish at the same time. And stay to the end when I reveal exactly what this is. But just a quick caveat at the beginning of this video, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a podiatrist, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a nearly 70 year old woman who has struggled for the last few years to find comfortable and stylish footwear. So in 2018, I consulted a podiatrist because I had really bad foot pain and he diagnosed, and I'm going to turn to my notes here, degenerative changes in my metatarso cuneiform joint exacerbated by hypermobile feet, which in plain English just means aged feet, I think, exacerbated by the fact that I am a bit hypermobile. So in order to correct this, he suggested that I needed orthotics. Now I have to say, when he first mentioned the word orthotics, I went, Arr! but all it is is just an insert in your shoes. It's not going to change the outward appearance of your feet in any way. It's just going to be something to support your arches in your shoes. Now the podiatrist made me a pair of orthotics, which are these, but actually, I also bought a pair off Amazon, which to be honest, are very, very similar. And all the details of everything I talk about will be down below in the description box. So you don't have to go out and spend a fortune if you think you need your arches supporting. But I do need to be careful with what shoes I wear in any event. Because, for example, I can't wear orthotics with sandals. And to add insult to injury, I also have very narrow ankles, which means I cannot wear regular court shoes. Because if I do, my ankle will tend to come out of the back. And coupled with that, I also have corns. <laughs> so we're dealing with quite a few issues here. So what sort of shoes should a woman who's touching 70, like myself, be wearing for comfort? but also for style. Unfortunately, it is actually quite difficult to find shoes, especially for women with narrow ankles. So I've kind of given that up as a bad job. However, I have found some ways of managing that. So what do we women touching 70 with difficult feet wear to look stylish and comfortable? Well, you probably won't be surprised to learn that the first type of shoe that I'm going to suggest are trainers. Now I have these really lovely trainers from, I can't remember the name, oh, they're called Terex. Now I actually bought these for walking on a shingle beach because they've got really nice thick soles, but you see, they've got a great ankle support as well as having laces. So I find them incredibly comfortable, but I do put my orthotics in them because the sole doesn't have much of a footbed. So they work very, very well with my orthotics, but they also give me ankle support, which is really important because the number of times I have sprained my ankle, oh my goodness, you do not want to go through that if you don't have to. But you don't just have to wear regular trainers. You can find all sorts of gorgeous trainers, like these beautiful ones from Penelope Chilvers, and I wear my orthotics in these as well. And then I've got this lovely pair from Dune. Now, Dune are one of my go-to boot and shoe stores. And these trainers, which I think they call sock trainers because they're nice and soft around here, again, really well supported around the ankle. But they do have more of a footbed than the regular trainers, although, again, I would probably wear my orthotics in these. So you see, you can look stylish and comfortable with a decent pair of trainers. So look for a pair of trainers with good support or wear your orthotics inside them. Now, the next type of shoe that I would recommend for anyone touching 70 who's got foot problems are boots. But it depends what type of boots. I would recommend these by Vivaya. Now, these I saw online about a year ago. A few YouTubers were recommending them. And I had to do a bit of toing and froing with the brand because I tried their regular boots. So I think they were the Chelsea boots. They had a kind of a seam inside the boot, which was really uncomfortable. So I had to send them back. And I tried one of their regular slip-on shoes, but the ankles were no good to me because my feet came out of the back. But these worked really well. And you can see the similarity with these and these trainers because they've got that sock element, as it were, built into the shoe. And that's what makes them really comfortable for me. But also Vivaya do have really good footbeds. There's definitely an arch support in here. So you don't technically need an orthotic in this. I love the style of these. I love this quirky heel. I think it's really unusual. And then it's got the sort of desert boot finish here, which also helps you to pull them on. So it is a bit like wearing socks, but with a heel. And they are amazingly comfortable. I've worn them to work. I've walked quite a long way in them and they're great. 
So if you can find a boot that's got really good support around the ankle and preferably with a really good footbed, then I would suggest that boots are definitely a good category for women touching 70 who've got foot problems. Now, I think the third category of shoe that a woman touching 70 can wear for comfort and style are Mary Janes. Now, they're a recent discovery for me. And I first tried a pair when I was sent these by a company called Empress. And I really, really like them. Now, why do I like them? Well, they are made specifically for women of my sort of age. They have a footbed inside, which is good. They also have this adjustable strap, which is good. And the adjustable strap is really important to me because it holds the shoe in place. Now, it works with these from Empress, but it also works with these from Cos. Now, these don't have a footbed. They're not specially, well, they have a slight footbed, but they're not specially made for women of our age. But because they've got the strap, and that is the feature of the Mary Jane, they're an old-fashioned court shoe with a strap. It holds my foot in place. And I do wear my orthotics in these because they are dead flat. And I find them really comfortable. If you've got feet that need a footbed, but that also need support around your ankle, then a Mary Jane should be right up your alley. Now, there is a caveat on the Mary Jane style. I bought these beautiful shoes for my 60th birthday. Look at them. They're absolutely stunning. But I can't wear them because look at that heel. It's just unbelievably high. And the minute I start to stand on my tiptoes virtually, which is what I would be doing in these, I'm just in agony. So unfortunately, I can't wear these anymore. But they are a beautiful style of Mary Jane, but just not for me. So the fourth style of shoe that I'd recommend wearing if you are touching 70 and you've got foot problems are Birkenstocks. Now, I know they're not for everyone. And believe me, I was that woman. So about 20 years ago, when I was working with a lot of young people, more than 20 years ago, actually, Birkenstocks were a thing. And I remember saying to one of my work, young work colleagues, why are you wearing orthopedic sandals? Because they reminded me of the old Dr. Scholl's. Do you remember those, those kind of wooden cloggy things that we used to wear? <laughs> Anyway, I'm a convert. So these are the first pair I bought, these black sandals, and I absolutely love them. Now, they're made in Germany and they're very consciously made with a footbed and you can buy different widths. I have to have these buckles on the very last hole. I think they are in order to keep them in place. Actually, this one, that one, not so much, but this one because it's the only way that they'll stay on my feet. I think they look amazingly stylish. I really like the fact that they're a bit sort of chunky and I love them so much. I actually bought another pair of these, which I think are called the Bostons or something. I went to the physical store to buy these because I was a bit concerned that I wasn't going to find the right size. And I ended up actually buying a much smaller size than I would normally get. These are a 36. Now, it has to be said, my feet do come out the back a little bit, but that's because I've got narrow ankles and not many women do have narrow ankles. I don't think otherwise I'm sure we'd be better served than we are. However, if you've got feet like mine in terms of the arch problem, in terms of the flat foot and in terms of sort of extra bones and all that kind of thing that I've now got and corns, which we're going to come to in a minute, then I think it's really worth trying these. And I think these look really good with narrow ankle trousers. So they might look okay with slightly wider legs, although I don't really wear wider legs, but I think they look particularly good with skinny jeans. And again, they're just really comfortable and you don't need to wear your orthotics in those because the footbed is raised and they're made specially to be supportive of your arches. And finally, the fifth type of shoe I recommend for women touching 70 with foot problems are fit flops. Now, I'm afraid these are a bit grubby, so forgive me. But these came out, oh, must be about, what, 15 years ago now? And they were developed by Marcia Kilgore, who is the Beauty Pie founder. And I think they're really comfortable. Now, these are grubby because I tend to use them in the garden and they've kind of lost their luster a bit. Now, these were specially designed to be comfortable and stylish. And I know they've got lots and lots of different styles in Fit Flop. They don't just do sandals. I think they do trainers and all sorts. But these were the ones that suited me. So I definitely think it's worth looking into Fit Flops. And I'll put all the details of all the boots and the shoes that I've talked about in the info box below. So now that we've talked about the types of shoes and boots that I think are suitable for us nearly 70-year-olds who've got foot problems, I just want to show you this little thing. 
Now, what do you think this is? This is a toe separator made especially for me. Now, when I went to a podiatrist recently, I thought I just had a corn. In fact, I did have a corn and it was really painful. And I tried to get rid of it by myself. I bought all the scrapey stuff and put salicylic acid on it and all sorts, but I just couldn't get rid of it. It was really painful. So I finally bit the bullet and went to the podiatrist and she said, yes, it's a corn. She removed it. Unfortunately, opposite the corn, I had a corn here, just like I've got this little bit of sticky outy thing here. But I also had a bit of sticky outy bone here. So the corn and the bone were pressing together. So she has made me this. It's effectively a toe separator, but it's made exactly to fit my toes. And she made it on the spot. She literally got out. Some, it was like Play-Doh and sort of forms it around my toe, a little bit like you do when you go to the dentist, you know, and you have those impressions. And she just made it there and then. And now I wear it all the time when I put my shoes on. And this has been such a help to me because there are times when I feel my toes rubbing together. And if I wear this, then that's not going to happen because they're specially molded to my toes. And they're so much more comfortable than the ones that you buy in the drugstore. So I hope that was helpful. I hope I've shown you that you can be stylish and comfortable at the same time when you're touching 70 with foot problems. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. And if it has, I'd be so grateful if you'd give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Let me know, have you ever visited a podiatrist? Have you got narrow ankles? What do you think of my shoe choices? Would you not touch them with a barge pole or are you going to run towards them? And what do you think about getting orthotics? Have you ever tried them or were you really put off by the name? <laughs> like I was. And thanks again so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.